Meanwhile, Liverpool qualified top of the group with two matches to go after a 2-0 victory against Atletico Madrid. Jota and Mane scoring early on in this game to get it done. Uh, Atleti reduced to 10 men uh, 10 minutes before the break. Felipe getting a red card. We'll talk about that in a moment, but let's talk about the performance overall, which was really exceptional from Liverpool. They were superb. Yeah, and unlike them, they were superb until they got into the final third. Right. Uh, and they were very wasteful. Final pass was off. Final decision was off. Just just you name it. The second half, you know, 2-0 the scoreline. It probably should have been 4 or 5. Um, but as you said, the red card completely changed it and the game was pretty much done when Felipe got sent off. Did it change it? I mean, because they were battling. They were you know never. I, mean? I, I know they were 2-0 up in Madrid. Never and given. Madrid and Atletico came back, made a game of it, at yeah. least put them under pressure until... Uh, Griezmann got sent off in that game as well. That that, that was a, a red card. I never felt in this game that I just felt Liverpool had the stranglehold on them from the start. No, they had they had the odd flurry. Yeah. Right. Listen, when when Suarez had a goal disallowed for offside, just before it was before it was disallowed, all of a sudden you go, oh, we've seen this before, especially at Anfield not that long ago, twelve months ago. So, and then it got and then it got chalked off. Uh, and, and they exceeded the no fairness, they set they piece, They set piece where it was well worked and Correa got in yeah. and he should have put, it was an easy ball, just had to put it in low to the back post and he skied it. As Stevie said, it was the odd thing. Yeah. I just think when you watch Liverpool, when, when Fabinho is in front of that back foot and, and he can manoeuvre the bits and pieces around it, yeah. but when he's there, just gives everybody, the full backs and the centre halves and the attacking boys, a, a little bit more confidence about how his defensive abilities, because because he can do it all. But listen, all the data and all the stuff and all the assists, we can talk about all that, but there's nothing better than seeing a good old-fashioned, brilliant... That's early, the opening goal, of course. A, the good old-fashioned, brilliant, early ball into the box. Yeah. We'll, never, we'll never get old. Yeah. We'll never get old. And the ball from Alexander-Arnold was as good as you'll see all season. And Jota gets himself... Uh, and an awful lot of good positions in between defenders, and I thought that was excellent. There was a lot of discussion about the red card because Felipe made the challenge, and then he refused to go to the referee yeah, but, when he was going yeah. to show him a card, but UEFA confirmed that the red card was just solely for the challenge. That no, was it. It wasn't no. two yellow cards, it wasn't anything like that. Right, uh, it was solely for the kicking out of the challenge. No, and I, and I don't think that's in the laws of the game. And I, Listen, if they want to put it in the laws of the game, I'm all for it if you're not making a challenge for the ball. But it was clearly a cynical foul, but not a dangerous foul, and it wasn't violent. So, and for me, it's not a red card because what, what's more, is it any more cynical than pulling the jersey back? Yeah, but you're you're, you're actually kicking out of somebody for tripped, no apparent reason. You're Stevie, making if you're making no attempt for the ball, what's the word? He tripped by him. Doing he what? He by kick, swinging his leg up. He didn't kick him. He tripped him. <laughs> Listen, if what? you want to call it a trip, a kick, you name it, right? The fact is. When you make no attempt whatsoever to go for the ball and you assault your opponent, then it should be a red card. And I'm, not, and I'm not saying this from today. When I was playing, I thought it should have been a red card. It's not and in the usually, laws of the game. And you, if you well, watch Manchester City playing most weeks, they get criticised tactical fouls. Over the last two or three years, when Guardiola's been there, they do that a lot and have done it a lot. Referees can turn that into whatever. It's they not pulling. If you're pulling a jersey back, you're not making an attempt. I suppose to the play kicking the action that Steve was talking about then, now that would it's be deemed kicking. violent. That'd be violent conduct. But, uh, well, it wasn't it's... violent. It, it was a trip. What I tell you, what you, did you see Manny on the floor holding his holding his Achilles? That was a different challenge. I don't think so. That was a different challenge. That was on no. the, that was on the touchline. And the follow through. No, no. When no, you're talking about. You're talking about in the second half. I'm, this is the oh, red no, card. No, he actually, after he clips him, he follows through and catches his Achilles as well. No, anyway, it's here, a trip. Here, here, my opinion is, regardless of whether it's a trip or whether it's a kick, if you have absolutely no intention of going anywhere the, near the ball and you just kick out at somebody, then it should be a red card. And whether you want to say it's in the rules or not, the referee, in my opinion, has a discretion to say, you know what, he just basically assaulted them for no apparent reason. Not, that's 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 how we should call be. It, you can't call it. I'm sorry, but you can't call a little trip an assault. How many times have we little seen this, I, rightly or wrongly? How many times have we seen this happen in games, and it's been a yellow card? Nobody's complained. I'm all for them changing the laws and changing the writing of it, but we have to referee the game by the laws of the game, and that wasn't violent conduct. 
It was a cynical trip. The same as a pullback is. Now, when Felipe wouldn't come back... That's a grey area. That, when that, when Felipe wouldn't come back, mm. I was under the impression he was going to give him a second yellow. Right. Right? For the dissent. Right? For not coming back. Yellow for the challenge. Yellow for the dissent. Red card. That referee has refereed the game out with the laws of the game because that's not happening to any other player. And as cynical as it is, and I agree, and I've, we've all done it, if he's absolutely booted him, fine. But he hasn't. And I'm sorry, but if you if that if that if that had been a Liverpool player, you would not have been. No, that. don't start. Don't no, throw no, that. you wouldn't have done. Don't throw that old no. chest that uh, if it'd no, been the other way around. You wouldn't have done. Not at all. I no, tell you, you I, called I, it a soul. I hate it, I've always hated it. If, I, if you're walking across the box and the game's going on the way over there and you just go like that dead guy, you'll get sent off. Uh, last, last point, just moving on from here, Liverpool through to the next round. What would you put your money on more? Liverpool winning the Champions League or Liverpool winning the Premier League? <laughs> I said, well, that's a tough one. Well, I know, that's why I asked it. I'll go Champions League. Right. Because I'll tell you what, at Anfield... On one of those nights, yeah. they can they can batter anybody with the referee on your side as well. Yeah, sorry, yeah, with a little trip. Yeah, well, a little trip. <laughs> cold and there, get red cards. <laughs> if that continues, yeah, I would say the Champions League. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube, and for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN Plus.